Peace. This is Monroe Jr. I'll be giving my commentary right after this video. Peace. What's your name? Oh, lady. Where we started. I told you every time. Where are you? I'm going to see Chris. I'm going to get along. They probably got me down by the end of the summer. Sitting in that whole city going against me. Every time I'm on the street, I'm going to get out. Peace, peace. This your brother Monroe Jr. So y'all just seen the video of the young white lady who got on stage and excuse me, of course she was rapping along to the song and there's a part in the song that says my nigga. So she was in sync and with in harmony with the lyrical content and she said my nigga, you know, but you see white people we don't use it. Those of us who are conscious that say that term, who understand the history behind the word nigger in my nigga is two different colloquialisms, right? So when a black person who's, con listen to me, who's conscious, and some of these brothers and sisters who are at the Kendrick Lamar concert are conscious. So we know that when it's said, it's supposed to, in the way we use it, a lot of times it's, it's, it's used as a word of endearment. That's like saying my brother, so-called, in the greater sense, if you understand. Now, some black people who are ignorant do use the term my nigga loosely and it can be used sometimes as a term of endearment sometimes it can be used you know my nigga i'm finna drop you you, you know it, it could be used like that in an ignorant way so a lot of times our rappers they convey the n-word in song in white people feel as though they should be privy to also be able to say the word because sometimes, you know, they have some young white, uh, young black friends, right? Possibly. And, you know, the young black ones who are not conscious, listen to me, conscious, meaning that they know the history behind the word nigga, some of those who are not conscious, they give white people a pass. 
So white people now, a lot of the young white people in society think it is cool to say my nigga. That's just like white people. If we said cracker and y'all in a funny way with white people said cracker, right? That's a in, uh, 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 it's an inside colloquial word that you use with people of your own race. Is not to be co-opted. <laughs> you know, it, it, I hope you understand what I'm saying. Cracker, right, to represent the former slave master, and cracker. So, you know, white people might dr- joke among themselves and call each other cracker. But you don't want no black person ever joking with you in that manner, no matter how we use it, cracker or cracker. It's the same thing with nigger and nigger. So I just wanted to explain that, you know, um, it's not a word that should be used loosely, especially once you understand the history behind it, you know. Um, and, and a lot of us who do have some depth of understanding of that word, we would not, whether you're playing or not, we would not desire for you to play with us like that. <laughs> you know, that's just out of respect from our, for our level of understanding and understanding what our people have gone through here in the hells of North America. This is your brother Monroe Jr. I'm signing off. Peace.